Hey, so I decided to make this video because I've been going through my YouTube channel and updating it lately. I've been making new playlists. I, um, you know, organized everything, new banner, new trailer and all that. And I realized my most popular video is a video called Developing Kodak Triax. And I, um, I'm looking at it and it has all these downvotes and I'm wondering why. And I realized it's just a time lapse of me uh, developing the film and it gives no information and people have probably been clicking on it to try and learn how to you know develop their black and white film so I thought I'd actually make one going through my process um, I picked up my Minolta X700 the other day and I realized I have a roll of film in it that I've never developed anyways um, go through the whole process exactly my delusions and how I develop I load my film onto the reel and into the development tank using a changing bag. If you're not familiar with that process, I'll put a link to a video below. So here we are in the basement of the studio. Um, I've got all my stuff laid out here. First thing you want to do is uh, crack a beer and then you get started. I start by mixing the chemicals and trying to get them as close to the right temperature as possible by mixing the hot and cold water right out of the tap. Right now I'm way too hot, so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the cold water. That's 68, so it's a good starting point. Probably have to adjust it before we actually develop the film, but that gets me for a good base to get the developer and the um, stop bath mixed up. So I'm using Kodak HC 110. I use it as a one-shot um, developer. So nine milliliters of HC 110. Two hundred ninety-one milliliters of the water. So yeah, we want a total of three hundred milliliters altogether. This is um, HC one hundred and ten dilution B. It's a very active developer, so you want to be pretty accurate with the temperature and the amount. Um, this is the thing I'm most meticulous about. Take another sip of beer, and now it's time to mix up the. Stop bath. So the proper dilution, well, for this I use 15 milliliters of the stop, and then I fill it up to 300 milliliters of water. Stop bath obviously doesn't need to be as precise as your developer. Oh, got dead spiders in there. Mixing up the photo flow for the last step in the process. For this, need a drop and a half for a milliliter and a half for the 300 milliliters. I always use distilled water for this step. Yeah, so I have my chemicals all mixed up here. Um, so now I just do a temperature check on the developer and once that's ready, I am ready to go. Um, you didn't see me mix the fix because I already have the fix mixed. So the developer is at 68 degrees and we are ready to go for a total development time of six minutes. So my method is five second agitations every 30 seconds. I don't start out with an agitation, which is common practice. I've never done it and this is just a method that I started with and it's always worked for me. The six minutes is up. It's time to dump out the developer and add the stop bath. I agitate with the stop bath for 30 seconds before dumping that out and adding the fix. When it comes to fixing, I do a total of 10 minutes and that's with 30 second, 30 second agitations, 30 seconds on and then 30 seconds letting it rest. After about five minutes, you're supposed to be able to check the film to see if you have anything. I always let it go the full 10 minutes because I've never failed to at least get some images on a roll. So yeah, 10 minutes later, fixer back in the fixer container. Try to be careful, that's not environmentally friendly to get anything with silver in it down your drain. Now it's time to wash the film. Historically, you would just let water run over the film for five to 10 minutes, but to be a little more environmentally friendly, I prefer to use the Ilford method, which is fill the tank with water, invert it five times, empty it, and fill the tank with water again, invert it 10 times, so on with 20, and then a couple extra if you feel that's necessary. So the last chemical step is a couple minutes in the photo flow. So then I like to hang the negatives to dry in the bathroom after I've taken a hot shower, which helps to knock down any dust. 
Um, after I hang them, I take my fingers and I slide them down the film to remove some of the uh, chemical. And I have a squeegee. I prefer to use my fingers because I could feel if there's any dust or anything like that because I don't want to risk scratching the negatives. I hang a couple clips at the bottom to weight them down and then I let them dry overnight. I shoot with a RED 25A filter and slightly underexposed most of the time and this gives me the high contrast image that I like to get from Tri-X. After that it's time to scan, I'll have a video of that linked below and then you uh, post it to IG.